Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Essentially, using media, you don't spy on your enemies. What you, you don't try to extract their ideas. What you try to do is you try to insert ideas onto the populace. How do you do that? Through the music, through the news, through the entertainment, through your the social media now, right? The social media is the new weapon. It is the new weapon. And when you're being bombarded of images of your own people involved in despotic behavior, what that, what that does psychologically is it, is it tells you that you should be involved in that behavior as well because everybody that looks like you is doing the same thing, okay? That's the first point. The second point is, you know, I was having an argument with a white brother because he, he don't like me talking about this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For some reason, he thinks I got a problem with white people. I don't have a problem with white people. I have a problem with white supremacy. And if you don't have a problem with white supremacy, then me and you is going to have a problem. Straight up. So I told, it's easy, he had a problem with me. He's saying that what I'm talking about is black supremacy. I'm like, there is no such thing as black supremacy. What the heck are you talking about? What is black supremacy? What is that? How is that a thing? How is that a thing? Black supremacy where? Where are these black supremacists? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What is that? <laughs> black people are somewhere on the earth. You know, uh, redlining another race somewhere, gentrifying other people's neighborhoods somewhere, you know, <laughs> making laws and running banks, preventing other people from economic um, freedom somewhere. What is black? What is that? It's not a thing. It doesn't exist. Right. So anyways, he said we should be focusing on, on shirk. You know what I told him? Because he doesn't know. Either he doesn't know or he doesn't want to know. And these people, like I said, they're not your friends. When they start speaking like that, they're not your brothers. You're not your friends. Okay? So I said, Ahi, if you don't know, and if you don't know, now you're going to know. White supremacy is shirk. Duh. <laughs> what was the first thing that these white supremacists did to the black slaves before they made them go into the fields? Did they not force us to become Christians? Hello? What is this atheist, this new atheist movement? Where did it stem from? Did it not stem from Darwinism? Did not Darwin say that? Did he write in his book, his book The Origin of Species and the, the Survival of the Preferred uh, Races? Did he not write this? Did he not see black people as inferior? And he wrote and has not every single uh, uh, atheist accepted this theory, even drawing pictures. That is not only is it shirk, but it's the ultimate shirk. It's the only, they force people to accept this. They force people by force. If you do not accept this, you do not accept science. That's shirk. We are fighting shirk. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So why am I why am I saying this? It's because if you have been indoctrinated in this system, anthropology, a science grounded in shirk, okay, I mean uh, in, in racism, sorry, anthropology. Go read how it started. Go read how they used to kill uh, this this Belgian. I can't remember his name. How they used to uh, kill thousands and thousands and thousands of Black Africans, behead them, force the Africans to behead and collect their skulls and skin the flesh off the skulls so they can measure these skulls. That was anthropology. Criminology, its origins is in racism. Uh, Cesare, I can't remember his last name, this Italian man, he is the one who founded criminology. What did he say? He said, criminals are born and you can know who they are by their, the way they look. Black people were not considered criminals until the chains came off of our wrist and our ankles. That's when they started criminalizing black people. Black people were not considered lazy until we 
attain freedom. That's when we're considered lazy. So now they tell you all the time how lazy you are because these foreigners come and they get all this, you know, wealth and whatnot, and not knowing that we are prevented from the same opportunities that they have by design, by design. So yes, white supremacy is shirk, but not only is it shirk, not only is it shirk, but it's, it is to keep you in a perpetual state of making shirk. Even if you're Muslim or not, you'll find yourself in these situations. If I took a biology course like recently, a few months ago, right? And they were talking about evolution, right? And they asked such a loaded question, right? Basically trying to show that we came from some amoeba in the sea. So they're saying, well, which root did the reptiles come from? Did they come from the root of the mammals or the plants or some, some crazy question like that? If you accept this as truth, then you have denied the Quran itself. Shirk, shirk. But they put it as science and it's not science. It's not. They, because they wrote it in a book and you trust these people and you send your kids to those schools, that's why they get confused. It's indoctrination. This comes back to what I was saying about the Russians and subversion. That's how they get you. They use 20 year intervals because that's the amount of time it takes to indoctrinate somebody. All this LGBTQ, you know, this, this whole LGBTQ, that's rooted in eugenics. You know that, right? You know, this, this is the why it's being so put, pushed so hard, particularly in black communities. Okay. Additionally, oh, y'all ain't ready for this. You're not ready for this. Additionally, okay, homosexual behavior is not unique to the West or white people. I will repeat, homosexual behavior is not unique to the West or white people. But the gay identity and the LGBTQ movement, which takes this behavior and turns it into a distinct identity which expressing opposition to it is treated comparable, if not worse than racism, is distinct to the West. And where it exists elsewhere is being imported. Told you you ain't ready. I told you you're not ready. In case you didn't get that, this LGBTQ movement, the agenda, is specific. The whole movement, this gay identity movement, is specific to the West and white people specifically. White supremacy. And this whole movement needs to be exported to darker countries for them to accept it. Otherwise, they will never accept it. They will never accept it. It has to be forced on them by force. Shirk. <clears throat> Shirk. Good morning. Today we choose to recognize, honor, love, and celebrate anyone here who would claim their identity publicly as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, or questioning, intersex, pansexual, asexual, or any category that I've left out. This is Phoenix. Oh, I'm really sorry. You're a little shy. Do you want to tell your voice? If you're a boy or a girl? I think it's my children, I'm a girl. Okay, you can tell them that. Okay, Phoenix would like you to know that she's a girl and she prefers she and her pronouns. Okay, let's go this way. 